Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Workshop. Every time. Well, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna have a special guest in today's episode, Ryan Lilia from the Bunker House Golf community. Of course, he's one of the pros, and he is in the bay today to discuss a little bit about what's going on with his swing. And with Ryan today, we're gonna be chatting about the stability in the lower body. So, this guy has created some serious speed over this year, gaining some weight, some muscle, but also figuring out a better way to hit the ball. But with that, with speed, comes some inconsistencies. So before anything else, let's jump in the bay with Ryan. Oh Sore? Just stiff. 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 But he's here. He's stiff, but he's here. Yeah, I need help drastically. This is, uh, this is not good. Yeah, is well, not good. welcome to the workshop, man. Ryan Liliev. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah, hey man. Well, it's, it's funny because we always talk about this too, but getting into more teaching stuff, you're a teacher yourself, mm. but we always need help on our own game. Everybody needs help. Everyone. You always need a second out. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you'll never figure it out. No, no. And that's what we're doing. We want to bring you some kind of that action of like, honestly, what we're kind of working in our game, but what feels you have, mm. what kind of you're seeing, mm. and what the off-season project is. Yeah. But for anything else, let's take a look here. We got a video here from last month you know, working on the game, you've gained a lot of strength, a lot of power, and a lot of speed now. So what happens with that speed is we have to know where it comes from. All right, Ry, what do you see? What's the off-season project here when you're seeing this swing? And I mean, this is one of, of five swings we took, and this is the worst one, so I did this on purpose. But why are we seeing this go left? You know, like what? It's just chaos. <laughs> it's absolute chaos. That's why. There's no tempo. There's no thought, there's no anything to the swing. The, the tempo, right? The tempo's the worst part. But, but the tempo is, we gotta take a look at what you, you know, and we've already deemed what that off-season project is and where that speed comes from, is that trail knee. Mm. You know, what's that doing? And we're I, seeing I don't here, know. you know, you. let's rewind it a few times here too, I'm just gonna put you through this. I hate but it. we see that, that power move of that knee going forward. Now, this produces a ridiculous amount of speed. Mm. Sure, it's been fun watching you hit it 40 yards by me. It's consistency. And this is actually the true kind of like, you know, lesson on like, okay, how do we take something and actually grow consistent? Oh, and I need it drastically. Cause right now that, seeing that, no. We hate working on our game, yes. Mm. And I know that. And it is sometimes a struggle, but when you figure it out, and those for you at home, when you do figure it out, that's when you can start to relax and have like one mindset and one simple thought. Mm. But when you don't, there's a lot of thoughts that can go on there's, up there. Yeah, the brain's, brain's a mess it's, right now. Yeah, and then, well, that's what happens. And then once you don't have a swing thought, then it's kind of like... You're just here? hoping every shot, so... Yeah. All right, let's get into this, man. All right. And then there's just like... It's just overcompensate back and forth. It's like getting a punching bag to the face continuously. Trying to figure out, are you trying to hit it left, right? What are you trying to do? And you're just going over one side. And then you just start pushing it to compensate for the other one. Get Absolute battle. Nice. All right, so let's go kind of over what's in the brain, what's in the head, but also, I already know kind of what you're doing because we've talked about it, right? You're trying to stabilize the right foot and that's mm. going to be our main, you know, course of action is because jump into the position there. When you file all the way up to the top, right to that top of that swing, you move all the way up. It's when this moves in, what that does is, well, that's happening. So you're getting out here. So from here, you can go left or right. And you know that, right? But you already are very aware of this. It's like, yes, you're trying to get a little more hip turn, but what's the first sensation down? How do we get off moving onto that toe? Duct tape it to the ground. <laughs> Nailed it. So I'm gonna go grab some duct tape here. <laughs> I actually have duct tape. Wait, wait, I'm not you actually, I actually have fucking duct tape. <laughs> Stop. Stop. 
<laughs> it's not even mine. It's just here. There we go. Lesson. Duct tape. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you're interested in that, don't do that at home. Let's put the duct tape away. Let's get into it. Because even if the duct tape was there, you're still going to do the move. So jump into your address position there. So what he's going to be looking to feel, guys, is when he gets up at the top of the swing, is Ryan's favorite move is to use this knee, which showcases the power, but you have to use it in a different way. So go ahead and do it again. Your movement with that knee is out towards the ball, and we need that to almost feel like it moves down. Now, I know that sounds kind of crazy, but when you're pushing down, you're then going to recenter into that foot, then the club's going to be in the right spot. Mm -hmm. Then you can do your whole left, trying to hit the maybe fade that you're working at, but it really drives from the start of that downswing. the shortest lesson ever. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wonderful, man. So good. So good. There's been a lot of like recent actually uh, like YouTube videos of people kind of showcasing this. It was like Grant Horvat yeah. showcasing like what his like signature move is. And it's kind of a new take on it. But what that is, is it's, it's Tiger Woods talks about this all the time. And it is, it's like feeling like you get into your glute a little bit more, feeling like you bend that knee a little bit more. Then that's the correct way to transition in the golf swing. Really good, man. So what's up with the pause? Why are you practicing the pause a bit? Because right now my transition I get to that top and I snap. So the pause is to allow myself to stop, feel, and drop. Nice. Instead of snapping, attacking it. Getting rushed, right? Exactly. Instead yeah. of rushing my swing, with the pause, it allows me to take a moment, feel it at the top, and then release. I love it. Such a different sound, different ball flight. There's your little fade. All right, so with every good move, you need to have something to work on. You need to drill, of course. So let's get your uh, position going again there. Super simple one here. We can take to the range or take anything, but I'm gonna put this alignment stick cover. Dormy Workshop alignment stick cover. Don't be too hard on us. This is my own personal one. We're not using the product. <laughs> so take this, I'm gonna slide it right underneath your middle of your foot. Perfect. Now, right, go ahead and put it down. Now you have just a sensation. Like it's, there's something underneath. It's not huge. You could use like an elastic band, like a workout band. You could use something like if it was just a cushion or like a half a tennis ball is a great one. But I like this is because one, it can get kicked out of the way and we can reuse it. But when you address the ball there again, you now have a feeling of, no, we're not trying to get all the way to the top and then push into your heel, but we're trying to knock it on your toe. So to feel it, yeah, we're going to have to feel like you're pushing into the backside of that. So all the way up, and then your first move down is onto the backside of that. Feel, there you go. Because if we go back to where we were before, and let's just do the wrong thing, is kick off that. You can see that pressure relieve off of that head cover. We want to keep the pressure into the middle of that head cover the whole swing. Beauty. Look at that. And if we slow-mo that one, I mean, your trail foot stayed. Going in the hole. Go in the hole. <laughs> your trail foot stayed on the ground for so long, but what had happened is it was your knee didn't move forward. No, I take my, I move my momentum this way onto yeah. my heel, onto my front side heel. Exactly. Beauty, man. <laughs> it's hammered. Are you ready for this close to the pin competition? Did you even know that was happening? No. No. All right, so to finish this off, closer to the pin competition, Island Green, mm -hmm. 167. 
Are you going to get a little of the work in, or are you just going to swing freely? Um, we'll see. We'll see? We'll right. see. I'm going right. to I'm gonna try to do it, because when I do it, it works. It works. So right. we should probably work on what works. And of course, you being the guest too. I'll go for honors. Are, I'll go first. Yeah, I'll let you see what you need to see. Yeah. 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 All right. What do you got for a club there? Eight. Eight oh, iron. Okay. What are you hitting? I got nine. Nine iron? Yeah. Serious speed. Maybe an eight iron and swings off. Hey, food for thought. No. No. All right. Okay. 20 feet, all right. What's that, 19, 19, 19 two? All right, I gotta beat 19, two. Little draw there. I need to straighten that out. Oh, I actually overdrew it. That's okay. Well, that's that product of that. I tried to swing a little more left there to feel like I was gonna hit that cut. Mm. And I just shut the face down and kind of did what we were talking about is got the club out in front. Comes up, it's down, and then that gives you the room to do that move. Oh, yeah. Really nice golf swing. I'm not complaining about that at all. It's gonna be a little long and just a hair left. And outside 19 2. Oh. 19 2. So that means, alright. So I gotta hit one within 19 feet. All right. Well. It's a nice first one. How'd you hit it? A little off the toe. Just outside. All right. Good swing. 30. 30 feet. I did like that move. I know it's leaking a bit right, but I like that trajectory and that move. Oh, all right. Same thing, just on target, I guess. Let's go. 18 inches. Oh man, unreal. Dang. Tough go, bro. Tough go. I buy one more. Purchasing one more shot here. I'm purchasing a shot. What is the value? I brought you a Gatorade for the lesson. That is true. The cost of that Gatorade is this extra shot. All right, I agree. I believe each guest should get one extra shot. was nice. <laughs> oh, 23. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah. With what was going on. <laughs> All right, man, thanks and, uh, for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me. That was fun. Yes. Yeah, that's good. If you guys want to get in touch with Ryan for some lessons, you can check him out on the page, email him directly. You want to get him with me, you know where to find me, buddy. We'll see you again, of course, yeah. and we'll see you all in the next episode of The Workshop. Peace.